We got to start with the getting in the mindset that if we are first arriving at a building with the active sprinkler system, we are effectively the second new company. And it is our job to, to provide the support efforts for the first thing company to do the extinguishment. And then really the sprinklers are there. They're, right. they're, they're your, your nozzles, however many. If it's, if it's one, two, ten, however many sprinklers are operating, it's multiple hand lines ultimately in the building already operating. Right. And it, it already knows where the fire was. It, it's extinguishing the fire before we ever got notified. Um, and our best chance of saving a sprinkler building is to use the sprinkler system. And then the, the number one issue is closed valves, right? So we got to get around the closed valve. The fire department connection pumps around it. And so it gives us the opportunity, even if that system hasn't necessarily given all the water, we're at least able to start confining it. Right. And then if we can find the fire, we supplement that sprinkler system. Um, if, they outrun, if the fire outruns the sprinkler system, we're going to lose the building. We know that for a fact. Yeah, fire, fire loads beyond what we're going to be able to put into it. So, I mean, I think, I think our biggest takeaway and our biggest takeaway from this article is that, that we as the fire service have to embrace the sprinkler system. We have to get in that mindset of supplementing that fire department connection as early as possible, pumping water into the building. It's not going to make it, the situation any worse. No, it's it's not the second or third or fourth due company. It's it's really that first in truck has to come in. Because as we had pressure, you know, it's hydraulics. As we add more pressure, we're going to add more flow. We're going to make things better by putting more water in the building. Because ultimately what we're trying to do is wetten and pre-wetten what's, what's burning so that we can contain it. And we're not getting away from the interior attack. You know, no, fire sprinkler systems do not, they're not intended anyway to fully extinguish fires. It's the manual suppression, but it's a messy operation. Right, right. You're going to go into a building that's going to be dumping maybe a couple hundred gallons a minute on top of a slow, lazy smoke, a pope, essentially an opposing stream. We're going to be wet. It's going to be difficult to navigate. Though it's um, noisy. But we can't shut that sprinkler system off. If we shut the sprinkler system off, we're doomed. We take that. We take the chance. What ultimately happened in the sprinkler? The sprinklers are keeping it contained, and if we don't get the lines in place to to take over that containment, much like a wildland, you keep containment. Once you lose that containment, you you've lost the fire. So we're still going to go in with manual firefighting efforts, supporting the sprinkler system. Sprinkler system still running. We're going to get in there. We're going to do that final extinguishment, final overhaul. And then, then, then ventilation, and then uh, uh, and then system isolation and fire open. Support the FDC. Put your first in company. Give them water.